All right, what's going on, guys? Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I was reading a recent article from uh, Network World that talks about Dell offering SMBs um, open source alternatives as opposed to the proprietary solutions they currently provide. But they're also offering open source uh, packages to go with. Now, SMBs are small medium businesses for those who do not know what that term is. Um, that's a huge state Dell is taking. Um, there have been very, very, very few companies to offer open source applications as an OEM uh, for as specifically targeted at small and medium businesses. It shows that open source alternatives are just as capable or might not need all the functionality of some of the programs that are offered in a, a proprietary model. Um, I know I do some photo editing and uh, some various graphic designs. I don't need all the functionality of Photoshop. Um, there are certain things that are cool about it, but my core functions, GIMP works perfectly fine. You know, there are other things like, do I need to spend four hundred dollars for an office suite if, well, you know, I don't use everything or I'm not a journalist? Then probably not. So you know, it's all relative to what you're looking for. It's relative to your budget, it's relative to everything at the end of the day. So, I want to say that Dell has taken a very big stake in open source, has taken a very big stake in cl uh, cloud computing. Um, they have taken a very big stake in Linux. Um, how many other OEMs are offering under their home and office uh, section, like Dell is, right under the list of Windows XP, Windows Vista, are offering Ubuntu or any type of Linux. And you can you check them out at Ubuntu on their home page. It filters out all the other machines and gives you mostly their mini nines and tens and you know their netbook solutions. But that's a big state that. A lot of OEMs aren't taking. Um, I mean, HP, <laughs> to some credit, um, at least gives SUSE Linux on their uh, 2140s as an option, or their uh, Mini 1000s. Um, but I have certain issues with HP also in that regard. So, Dell is taking a very big stake in success of Linux and the drive of Linux and in some ways that success has paid off. Now Dell hasn't released like physical numbers but back at the end of their fiscal year when all these other companies were saying that like MSI was saying that the return rates were four times higher for their netbooks being of uh, Linux versus Windows for uh, the Linux netbooks were supposedly four times more likely to get traded in as opposed to the Windows XP kind of works. Well, hey, MSI, don't throw a half-ass UI on top of an OS. Do some research into your OS, make sure your OS is fully functional. Um, but yet, yeah, you have had ASUS saying that the return rates are the same. Dell, a third of their netbooks, from mini nines to twelves, across the board, were Oh, a third of those were Ubuntu pre-installs. That's pretty damn good for a free OS, huh? So, I want to say thanks to Dell. You know, do I, have I liked everything they've done? No. But I don't like everything every company does. But I will acknowledge that Dell has proved to be a major OEM partner with the Linux community. And I want them to know that the Linux community those of us that are realist in the Linux community 
appreciate what Bill is trying to do.